Okay, guys, so this is a side video. This is, uh, well, it's not the whole original call. I've uh, obviously edited it a little bit. Well, not too, not too much. I've just like sort of tweaked it uh, here and there. But this is like sort of the original. Um, it's a bit of a rant. I'm not going to lie. This one is a rant. So it's about 12 minutes long. It's all to do about what's been happening in the past two, two to three days um, in terms of moving forward with... Uh, everything that's going on behind the scenes of Derby. So, yeah, you might have to be a bit patient, but if you're interested in uh, in my thoughts of what's going on off the pitch, then do stick around for this video. Um, but like I said, it's a bit of a rant. It is a I did let, let off a bit of steam in <laughs> this one, I'm not going to lie. So, um, but yeah, um, hopefully you enjoy this one. Um, and just keep the algorithm going. Do like and subscribe as usual. Um, you'd be doing me a solid. Um, enjoy this one, man. First and foremost, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, last time we saw each other, obviously, it was against West Bromwich Albion, where we did pick up that 1-0 win, thanks to Colin Kazim Richards. Now, since then, however, hoping that we'd be able to get a brand new buyer through the door for the club, yesterday, we were hit with even more bad news that we, um, we couldn't name a buyer until uh, claims against Wickham and Middlesbrough was resolved. Alternatively, we had to prove proof of funding um, to the EFL um, just to say that we can, uh, you know, fund the rest of the season. Now, that being said, today it's, it's, it's come out and the EFL have given Derby until the 1st of February to... Uh, to, to to find uh you know to find this lump sum of cash to try and you know play out the rest of the season and if we don't guys then derby are going to be kicked out of the championship and that is a sad harsh reality of it you know we have less than three weeks to get this mess sorted out otherwise the club that we all love will perish and it's 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 not even a joke anymore, you know. I came into this year hoping that you know Derby would, you know, get something over the line. Yeah, I put all my trust in the administrators, and yeah, okay, they've 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 not exactly been one hundred percent clear with us, and I suppose they've set their own deadlines and they've they've tried to stick to them deadlines. However, obviously, these claims from Wickham and Middlesbrough they have hindered us in terms of moving on. Um. And what I find strange is the fact that Derby the other day made it public that they, you know, they plan to announce a brand new buyer. And because because of that, because that were made public, I, I find it odd how all of a sudden the day we were supposed to be announcing a brand new buyer, the EFL hit us with this new claim that they want to see the funds and that we can't name a new buyer and that we can't resolve this until you know, we can't get a new buyer until the issue with Wickham and Middlesbrough is resolved. Now, I find that really strange considering how Steve Gibson is on the EFL board. He's on the EFL board, so that is holding us back from from uh, from getting a new buyer. Now, Gibson has had it out for us for the past four seasons. And when things haven't gone his way, when, you know, he hasn't, when I, you know, Derby haven't received the punishment that he wants us to get, Another fresh claim comes out and he's on the board. He's the one who's manipulating. He's the one at the wheel. I know it. I just know it because, you know, that's the only thing that's stopping us at the minute. The thing that is stopping us is Wickham and Middlesbrough. That being said, however, according, right, this is according to, I think it's John Percy, um, who's who works at this, I think it's a son or the telegraph or whatever, but really reliable, you know, journalist, John Percy, has uh, he put out a tweet today? He put out a tweet saying that um, you know if the new bidder that um, Derby are going to announce agrees to sort out the claim from Millsbury and Wickham after the takeover is completed, then you know we can keep our status. However, that's all down to the buyer's discretion. You know, let's say we did announce that buyer. They have to agree to pay off the compensation when in technicality, we don't owe any of them 
a cent. We don't owe Millsman nothing. We don't owe Wickham nothing. This is purely down to jealousy. It's simple and easy as that. It's just pure jealousy from Middlesbrough because we beat them to the playoffs in that season. We went on a good run of form. Middlesbrough didn't. We beat them fair and square to that last playoff place. Wickham, on the other hand, however, they shouldn't have even been in the championship that season. They got promoted through a points-per-game system. That is the only reason that they got promoted. And that is what's sickening. It is what is sickening me to the, to the stomach because our club has suffered enough, right? Mel Morris, okay, fair enough. He's the one who's got us into this mess. And, you know, we can all hold our hands up and agree that that is the case. He's the one who's got us into this mess. He is the one who has, you know, always took our club to the brink of, you know, of existence. And, you know, he's the one, he is, you know, mostly responsible. However, after taking our punishments, right, after taking our punishments for something that he's done, we're getting more punishment, more punishment, more punishment, because Steve Gibson doesn't like the punishment that we're being given. And so because he is part of the EFL board, he is the one who's convincing these other board directors to hit us even harder so he can get some sort of satisfaction out of us because we stopped his team from getting into the playoffs one season. And that is an absolute piss take. It's an absolute piss take. And, you know, I, I, I can honestly see, I can honestly see a revolt if that is the case. If, you know, if in worst case scenario that happens, I don't think Steve Gibson will get off lightly, especially for the Derby fans. Now, I'm a passionate Derby fan myself, but I'm talking about the elite Derby fans. Those who will go to protest. Steve Gibson will have it in for him. And that isn't a threat. That is just what I think. I think that, you know, the proper the proper Derby fans aren't going to take that line down. But I've rambled on enough. We've just got to hope that, you know, a re resolution can come out of this. We've got to hope that, you know, something can be resolved. Otherwise, the club's finished. The, host, the historic club, one of the founders of the of the football league, will cease to exist. And if that happens, you know, if that happens, then it's it's going to it's gonna it's gonna kill the city. We're not, you know, we're not a massive city. We're a small city, centre of England, heart of England, and this football club is part of our lives. It's a massive part of my life, especially. And I don't, I don't even want to think about life without Derby County. <sighs> if that happens, though, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing we can do about it. If, you know, we get kicked out of the league, we will have to build ourselves up again. If we liquidate, we'll have to create a new club. That's the only thing we can do. I don't want to think about that though. 17 days. Birmingham City. The vlog against Birmingham City on the 30th could be this last vlog about Derby County. But until then, guys, we are all going to try and enjoy ourselves. Two more home games. That game against Birmingham City could be our last in the championship. Or altogether. But I'm going to go to that game today. I'm going to enjoy myself. And I encourage everyone else to do the same today. Just go out there, enjoy yourself in the stand while you can. Because, you know, this time next month we won't be able we might not be able to do that. So up the fucking rams. Okay, so if you've stuck around this long and you've uh, come to the end of the video, I um, just want to say thank you for watching. First and foremost, you know, I um, 
I always appreciate people who stay to the end to watch my videos and uh, keep the algorithm going. Um, so thank you for watching to uh, the end of this video. I have got a brand new series coming out. If you haven't, if you haven't watched my um, match day vlog, to do with history and haunts of Derby, something I'm really excited. It's a brand new project for me, brand new series on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be hopefully getting interviews with Richard Felix. If you don't know who he is, he is a well-known uh, Derby historian. He was on Most Haunted, you know, the uh, ghost hunting um, program that ran for about a good 10 to 12 years um, with Yvette Fielding and Derek Okora. So he's worked alongside them as well. He's got a lot of knowledge about the history of Derby. I will be hopefully trying to get an interview with him. I've got to just sort of, uh, I've got to speak to a few people first, try and uh, sort out an interview if I can. But it's something I'm really looking forward to. Even if you don't believe in ghosts and spirits, if you watch the videos, if you enjoy history, then you know it will be something that you guys will definitely enjoy. And yeah, it's something, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to um, be doing. So more on that um, soon, once I've got some footage, once I've filmed it, researched, I've got to do a lot of research for this new series, guys. So I'll try and bring it out at least like one every week, one or two every week. It all depends if I can get someone to work the camera and everything like that. Obviously, I'll try and do some uh, shots of my new selfie stick, as you saw. Um, not uh, this week's, but last week, last uh, last home game vlog against West Brom, I got a new selfie stick, so I might be using that. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully that is something that you guys will be interested in. Um, show some love, even if you know people who are into that sort of stuff. You know, send them over to the channel, let them watch new videos. But update when um, once I've got everything sorted, filmed, and everything. Um, that it'll be up and running on the channel and yeah, it's something I'm really excited to be doing, but thank you guys for watching. This is Niall signing out. Peace.